In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five steps timeline slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've added one image. You can replace this image with your company image. So uh, how it works is when I click, you can see here the first timeline comes. So I've added one icon here, the year. You can add the detailed text. Then I've added some shadow effect. And when I click, it will show the next step, which is 2010. And then you can see here, this is the third step, 2018, and you can add the icons of your choice. Then for fourth step, and this is the fifth step. So depending on your requirement, either you can increase or decrease the steps. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and let's zoom out. And I'm going to add a very big uh, oval shape. For that, go to insert shapes. And from the basic shapes, I'm going to select the oval shape. Draw the oval shape, you can see here. And then hold the control and shift together and increase the size you can see here maybe this much size and i'm going to place it something like this if you want to still further increase uh, depending on your requirement you can increase it now let me just uh, do one uh, transparency for this so exactly you know how much area we're going to cover you can see here this area we are going to cover and the rest of them i'm going to delete it now how i'm going to delete it for that first go to insert shapes from the rectangles select the rectangle draw the rectangle something like this then i'm going to select this uh, oval shape hold the shift key select the rectangle under format merge shapes you can simply select the intersect so you end up getting a shape something like this and then transparency make it fully transparent and then using any background images or you can keep it uh, a plain uh, color also so let me just add some picture here so by default the picture was there i'm just going to use the same picture if you want to change it then you can go to insert and either you can select from online or from your local pc also so once this is done let me just zoom uh, fit to window you can see here it looks something like this then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape Hold the shift key, reduce the size. You can see here, you can further reduce it. And shape outline, make it no outline. And shape fill, you can fill any color of your choice. And then I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D. Hold the shift key, reduce the size. And I'm going to change this to white. And put it exactly in the center. And if you're finding difficulty, then you can just select both of this and you can go to align center align middle and from white i'm going to give some shadow effect so go to effects shadow and i'm going to use offline bottom right right then i'm going to select both of this press ctrl g to duplicate now depending on your requirement i can just duplicate it so for example my requirement is five so one two three four and five later on we can add or we can uh, delete it also so now let's insert one rectangle go to shapes select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle depending on your requirement and make it fully curved by selecting by dragging this orange point you can see something like this shape outline no outline shape fill i can give this color all right and i'm going to place it here then i'm going to add one oval shape again go to insert shapes select the oval shape shape outline no outline shape fill select white hold the shift key and reduce the size all right something like this and then if you want to add some shadow effect i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate shape fill make it black increase the transparency level reduce the size you can see here and then i'm just going to place it something like this a little bit curve a little bit curve only and then i'm going to place it like this and send this to back 
so you got the a shadow effect also and then here you can write the text so this one I'm going to use the year say 2005 and center align make it white make it bold and you can just choose any font of your choice and I'm going to put it here maybe let me just increase it and then below I'm just going to add the detailed text all right again this also center align put it here white font and reduce the text size okay and if you are having the icons you can add the icons but that also can be done later so i'm just going to select all of this press ctrl g to group it okay i'm going to put it here press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to paste one by one you can see here press ctrl d and i'm going to place it here but if you see here the gap is not equal so i'm going to select all this by holding the shift key you can see here then go to the format align distribute vertically all right and then based on this one you can just adjust this part all right and again if you want to make it more closer also you can make it more closer so depending on your requirement you can adjust it all right now once this is done it's time to change the color so i'm going to choose maybe uh, say this color for this and i'm going to choose maybe this color you can choose any color of your choice and i'm going to choose this and then a more darker all right and then just change the year from 2005 to maybe 2010 this could be 2015 20 and 25 and depending on this one you can just change the color whatever color which you have selected here you can see something like this and then for this also i'm going to choose the same color and then the last one all right now let's connect this one with the help of the connectors go to shape lines you can see here this one connector elbow from this i'm just going to connect this press ctrl d to duplicate and here i'm going to connect this one sorry with this press ctrl d you can see here you can connect one by one Alright, now it has been connected, uh, the text has been given, now if you are using the latest version you can go to insert icons also, you can just add the icons of your choice here on to these things, okay. So then if you want to change the, the background also, you can just use some pattern fill, you can see here different patterns are available and I am going to change the foreground color to more lighter color, okay, it looks something like this. So uh, this is uh, the complete design and if you want to add some headlines also you can just add it here the title I will just say timelines make it bold increase the size and put it here all right so the design is completed now it's time to add the animation so let me just close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane the first thing i'm going to select add animation you can go to more entrance effects and select the basic zoom or any other animation of your choice and click ok and then the line should come for this i'm going to use a wipe effect wipe effect options make it from left and this should happen after previous and for this i'm going to choose add animation more entrance effects stretch click ok go to the effect options and make it from left so it looks something like this and that should happen also after previous 
now it's very easy for me i can just select this one and click on this then select the line animation painter click it here and then for this i can just simply connect so you can see here i can just select the required one so you have to do just one by one this is going to save a lot of time all right so you can see here like this for example let me just show you when i click it comes then all right so you can do the same animation for the rest of the options